The first time I felt invisibilized as an Arab American, I was in second grade. My teacher asked us to point on a world map where our families come from. When I indicated where Palestine was, I was challenged by my teacher. I grew up learning about our culture, about my parents' and grandparents' forced exile, about our history of dispossession. While I was a quiet kid, I was also proud of who I was. When my teacher told me there was no Palestine, I didn't hesitate to challenge her back. We exist. Growing up Arab is a push and pull between being invisible and being hypervisible. Either we're demonized in mainstream narratives as the enemy within, or completely left out of the equation. Our struggles for social and economic justice are not even in U.S. history books. There isn't even a box on the census to check for our community. We have to write in our ethnicity to be counted as Arab Americans. If we are unseen by being undercounted, it puts us at a huge disadvantage. When we organize for change and make demands of the government, it becomes much more difficult to make our case. We are deprioritized in everything, down to a lack of translated material in Arabic to deal with this COVID pandemic. In my own work with Arab youth and families, we wanted our San Francisco school district to implement Arabic as one of the world language pathways being taught. But we were met with anti-Arab-fueled opposition. So we built a coalition of communities on the receiving end of marginalization and racism. We won because the decision makers, the politicians, saw what they were up against. They saw the breadth of solidarity we had for our people. We showed them power in numbers. We need our community to be properly counted. With more accurate representation, we can build power in our community. Participate in the census. It's a fast and simple process. Your answers must be kept confidential. Demand to be seen. I plan to write in Palestinian. My name is Lara Kiswani. I stand for the dignity and power of my Arab American community. Yalla, let's show them our numbers. Let's show them we count.